Hello everyone. So my buddy Jennifer on the Facebook groups reminded me that it's been several months since I did my unboxing of the Silky Cup. And so I moved it up the queue and figured I'd do a video for you today. Um, so the Silky Cup is from India and um, I am I'm trying to contact the company to ask if they were manufactured in India as well. Um, somebody else asked if they were a China cheapy cup uh, that the that was just uh, rebranded and renamed in India. But I'm kind of leaning toward that it is manufactured in India. However, uh, as soon as they contact me, I'll, I will include that information in the description below. So I'll do a quick turnaround of the box and you can pause it if you need to. So uh, the Silky Cup does come in three different sizes and here are the sizes. I guess I should have said it when I was at the si uh, side of the box. Uh, so sm small, medium and large. And they do have uh, who would use what size, but uh, honestly, it really just depends on your body and your needs. Um, I know that a lot of cups say that if you're you're over thirty, you use this size, and it's not really true. Um, it's just you know it really, really depends on your body and your needs. Uh, the first thing you want to do is find your cervix and measure that to find what what cup would fit uh, you the best right out of the box. So you also get this pouch and it's a lo little larger than um, most of the the uh, cup pouches that I get. And you could probably put a reusable pad in there, carry it around if you wanted to, an extra stash. Uh, they do include a usage guide, and it's really well written. A lot of good information in here. Uh, here is the sizes again. And this side is what interested me because they give you information about each of the cups. Um, the diameters, the length, the length without the stem uh, or with the stem. Uh, capacity not only to the rim but also to the air holes, um, the material, it's TPE, it's made out of TPE. So really good information, um, tips for in inserting, how to clean your cup, um, how to take care, because this is a TPE cup, uh, how to take care of it um, as opposed to a silicone cup. So great information. I was really surprised how much information they packed into this um, pamphlet. So again, three different sizes, small, medium, large, and I do have a medium with me today. They only offer this cup in this opaque color, and this is a TPE. I know I've gone over both or that a few times already, but it is a TPE, and this is the only other TPE cup that I know of besides the Maluna. So you have another alternative to the Maluna if you find that uh, you don't like the shapes of the Malunas. I know that uh, the Maluna cups don't have this really V-shaped, and this is a very, very V-shaped cup. And... Um, uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find my Diva cup here. Here's another V cup. Ooh. And you can see the bottoms of that. The Diva cup kind of rounds out just a little bit, and the Silky cup stays uh, very V'd. So, um, the silicone is, or not silicone, the TPE is. Uh, smoother, silkier than the Maluna uh, itself. The the feel of it, the texture, when I run my finger over it, it feels more smooth than if I were to run my finger over the Maluna. It has kind of a more grippy feel to the Maluna. So the, even with TPE there is a difference uh, of the different make of it. 
The Silky Cup only uh, costs $15, at least it was $15 when I purchased it. And I purchased mine on eBay, but they also have um, their cups on Amazon, and they do also have a website. And I'll leave the website uh, link in the description below, uh, and then you can just go ahead and search for the Silky Cup on eBay and Amazon if you want to. But I had free shipping. Um, it, or shipping was included. So $15 was really inexpensive to find a menstrual cup and for it coming from India. And I assure you it did come from India. I do have a packing slip for it. Um, and it only took about a week and a half. Um, so it got here a lot faster than I had expected. I was thinking that it was going to take like two to three weeks to get here. So I was very surprised that it got here uh, in a week and a half. So my medium cup without the stem measures 57 millimeters and that is two and a quarter inches in height and you're looking at this line up here or down here and I'll go ahead and start with the stem this is a stick style stem and it is a firm stem if I smash it between my fingers it it has a little bit of smishiness to it but uh, it's still pretty firm not as firm as some of the other cup stems that I've come across though uh, it flexes this way not so much uh, as easy for the opposite way um, and you can see that it has these little it's kind of like when you make um, ice cubes and there's bubbles inside and it I, I don't know what it is um, I, I don't know I, I couldn't tell you but there are no grip rings on it so it doesn't really give a very good grip when you're trying to use that stem I ended up having to bypass the stem altogether and just head for uh, the bottom of the cup there. There is a good piece of uh, a seal in there and you can see it really easy uh, there. Nice and thick if you need to cut that stem down and it does have um, information on how to cut the stem uh, in the, the usage guide. So that's actually what I I used to remove my cup or to grip the cup uh, when I was removing it because there are no grip rings on this cup. Um, I had to reach for the bottom right there where that seal is and because it is kind of firm in there for that seal, that's what I grabbed onto to bring my cup down for me to take it out and remove it. Uh, so again, there are no grip rings on it. It's, it's a nice smooth design and you know somebody that was sensitive to all those little uh, nooks and crannies might like that uh, design in this cup. However, when you get to the rim here, there is a seam that goes all the way around the cup and I don't know if you can just file that down and smooth it out for yourself, but it is a little bit raised and I can feel it more when I put my fingers on it and pull up then I can feel it uh, when I put my fingers on it and move down so um, I can feel it and just know that that's there you'll have to kind of um, shave that down if you're sensitive but the rest of the cup is is nice and smooth and silky um, so uh, there isn't a line for the secondary rim but there is a transition here and I don't know if you can see this and I tried to I already had to restart this video but I tried to put it up the to the light and you couldn't really see but there is just about here an area where from this point to right underneath that top rim it does get a little thicker and it feels a little more firm so I can feel a difference when I get up just about here to the cup it starts to have a little bit more resistance so there is a, a, an invisible secondary rim there uh, 
just ever so slight. Not a huge difference, but um, it's still there. Uh, I know that the Malunas don't seem to have any of that different uh, area, that secondary rim on the bottom, or right below that top rim. Uh, it doesn't feel like it gets any more firm before it hits the actual top rim. So that's what's different in this cup um, than the Malunas. Uh, there are two suction release holes, and they're just there. And um, they're quite small. In fact, one of mine is not even punched all the way through, and I think that's the one. Yeah, it's not punched all the way through. I did put a needle in it, and then I put an owl in it, and it went all the way through, but um, I think I would have to use... A, a hot needle to remove the actual TPE um, so that it stayed open. Uh, on the inside there's one marking. There's no measurement lines or anything but there is a marking in there to say what size I have and that's an M. That is on the inside of the cup but I'm just using the light here so that you can see um, to the inside. So Cleaning it is easy, you know, you just get some water in there and swish it around. There's not a whole bunch of markings for your blood to get trapped in and have to be um, really washed away. So, uh, it's a nice design. I, I did like it a lot. My personal experience with this Silky Cup, uh, when I first purchased it, I, I wasn't able to get it to open because it is a softer cup and it is TPE. It seems to stick on itself. Um, however, the Silky Cup doesn't seem to stick to itself nearly as much as the Malunas did. Uh, I did try the punch down fold and that just doesn't allow it to pop open. Um, and then I just used the C fold or U fold. And at the time when I first got these, I didn't, or I got first got the silky cup I didn't know that if I inserted it all the way the my muscles would keep it closed so uh, when I went back to find that sweet spot I I uh, found that if I only insert the cup halfway and then allow it to pop open uh, I could maneuver it the rest of the way into position so that's what I had to do with the silky cup but I did have a little bit more problems with the Silky Cup because it only has the two suction release holes. A lot of air wasn't able to get in. Also, one of my holes were not punched all the way through, so that's even less amount of air. So when I inserted it, I only inserted it halfway. And then I actually had to insert a finger and push down on the cup so that some air could come in. So I actually heard it suck in some air and that's when I knew it was open and I inserted a finger and pushed it into place and I usually have to use a finger to push it into place when a cup is softer so what I do is I insert a finger put it right underneath the rim and push it on one side and then insert a finger under the rim and push it up on another side and kind of go around the cup that way until it's in position where you need it to be so once, once I got it up uh, near my cervix and felt that it was all the way open and it was in position well, I tucked the back behind my pelvic bone and I stood up. I was really worried about the stem because it was, um, it was a hard stem and then the seal was kind of hard. Uh, this cup seems really long and then this, you know, could be, because of that V shaped, it seems really long. Um, but I do have a high cervix, uh, so when I stood up, uh, I didn't feel any of this. I did, however, feel it when I sat down and moved in my seat a, a certain way. I could, I could feel it, but it wasn't uncomfortable, so I was really surprised that that didn't give me a whole bunch of problems. Although I would end up cutting it off if I was to keep this cup just because I said it doesn't really let you grip onto that um, when you're trying to remove your cup. It's kind of a useless little tail there for me. Um, so I would cut it off if I were to keep it. But uh, 
Uh, I didn't leak. I actually forgot about it. I took a shower and about 2 o'clock in the morning I was still playing games on my tablet and I was like, oh, uh-oh, I forgot to empty my cup. I forgot to take it out. So, I mean, that's a good sign. I forgot about it. Um, so it, it was a good cup and I, I was really happy with it. Uh, very surprised actually because I don't like TPE um, and this you know this was this is a TPE cup so um, you know that shows goes to show that it, something can change your mind about something you didn't like uh, but yeah it seems like a really really good cup and I was happy with the price it's a good price if you're just going to try it out if you don't like it I'm sure you can de-stash it really easily on uh, one of the Facebook groups it doesn't seem like a whole bunch of people uh, have tried this cup yet so I'm sure it would get picked up really quickly if you didn't like it but I, I thought it was a good cup um, I did have something else that I wanted to say but I forgot I'll do a little bit of comparisons to some of the popular other uh, cups and you can see the sizes. Be right back. Okay, I had to take off my ring here, so <laughs> it was uh, altering the, the Diva Cup. So here is the Diva Cup size 2. And I have a couple size two. Pretty similar in, in the make of these cups. And I have a Maluna large. and a Maluna Extra Large. And I guess I should have done the Maluna Medium. I'll do that. So there you have it. Uh, that was the Silky Cup from India. Uh, hopefully I covered something that you had questions about. If you have additional questions or comments, you can leave them uh, below or find me on Facebook. Please give me a thumbs up if this was any helpful to you. And take care until I see you next time. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.